Hey guys, it's CMAX Studios here, and this is my second video, including the intro to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the figurines of LEGO Lord of the Rings, of the sets that I've already gotten. But at the end of the video, I'm also going to be showing you pictures of ones that I do not have, but probably will be getting. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I'm going to be going off importance, kind of, in this books, the movies, and things. First row, it's importance. Second row, it's kind of important. Third row, not really. And then fourth, kind of. And then the fifth row is sort of the people that don't really have a major role at all. So first, let's start with Frodo Baggins. Um, so, Frodo's kind of the main character of the Lord of the Rings movies. Uh, he's the ring bearer which he inherits the ring from Bilbo Baggins of the Hobbit. Uh, he has to, his quest is to carry the ring to Mount Doom and destroy it. Um, next we have Sam. Uh, his level of importance is he sticks with Frodo throughout the thing, even when Frodo leaves the Nine Companions to go off by himself into Mordor. Sam follows him and sticks with Frodo, throughout the movies. He kind of carries all the cooking equipment and actually saves Frodo from Shelob, uh, who I'm not including in this because she isn't really a major character and isn't classified as a figurine. So, let's move on to the other side, which is Pippin. Uh, Pippin uh, is a really good friend of Frodo's. Uh, he plays kind of a major role, gets captured by orcs, an orc pack in the Two Towers. So, he he's part of the Nine Companions. Actually, at the end of the Fellowship of the Ring, he gets captured. But he's part of the Nine Companions, not really that big. Uh, sadly, I don't have his uh, really good friend, um, Mary, yet. He's, a, he's, class, he's uh, an exclusive in the... Weathertop set, which I do not have, sadly. So, let's move on to the other side with Gandalf the Grey. Uh, Gandalf the Grey is kind of the main person that helps Bilbo and Frodo in their movies and books. Um, he plays an important role in basically saving the Nine Companions and leaving, leading them. Uh, and then, th in the Two Towers, th after... Gandalf is defeated in the Fellowship of the Ring by Balrog, or so they think, and they think he has perished or is dead. He comes back as Gandalf the White. He is a lot more powerful in this, and with this figure of him, and has a different, as you can see, color scheme. He's now white instead of gray, and that means he has a higher uh, power rank, I guess you could say. And then on the other side, we have Aragorn. Aragorn's a sort of leader of the Nine Companions, he protects them, and he sort of, I don't know, kind of leads them throughout their quest, and he is the found, uh, leader of the undead, the dead army, which he finds uh, in the last movie, and saves them from, in Mordor, on his ambush attack on boats. And then on the other side we have Boromir, who sadly dies in the first book, The Fellowship of the Ring, by Lurts in the movie, but in the actual book he gets shot by, I believe, six arrows before he dies. And he's protecting Merry and Pippin from getting captured by the pack of orcs, in which they must be saved from in the, uh, second movie and book, The Two Towers, and then the person that is also helping and trying to find them is Gimli. He's my favorite character. For some reason, I have a, I'm pretty fond of dwarves. I really like them. Uh, that's why I like the Hobbit movies and things, but G Gimli's a really good fighter. He's true to his word, and he's becomes a pretty good friend with an unlikely character, uh, usually they're really bad enemies, it's their two species, it's Legolas, who also helps try to find Merry and Pippin. Uh, Legolas is a brilliant archer, he has, uh, 
two daggers on his back if he runs out of arrows, and he's a brilliant fighter. In the Hobbit movie, they added him, which, uh, in the books, he's actually not in there. But I thought that was interesting, but I thought it was unnecessary. But, uh, yeah, he's mainly an archer, but he also has two daggers on his back, and he's pretty deadly with those also. So those were the first main characters, uh, mainly the Nine Companion, even though Nine Companions, even though I added uh, Gandalf the White there, uh, and instead of Pippin, uh, I mean Merry, but uh, that's mainly the n main Nine right there. So there we go.